In the southwest, the Federal Operations Unit, Zone A of the Nigeria Customs Service, has a contraband seizure valued at over 325 million naira. The unit also recovered over 286 million naira from duty payments on vehicles and other goods that beat the seaport, airport, and border station system. The seizures between October and November include foreign parboiled rice hidden under bags of cement, vegetable oil, frozen poultry products, Indian hemp, and other contraband. When the federal government deemed in their wisdom that vehicles should not come in to the land border, it is our responsibility to make sure that these vehicles are apprehended if somebody dare to come with them. It is not only customs that fight smuggling, it is the responsibility of all of us. Because if a policy is made like this, it's supposed to be for the betterment of the nation. I wish you all join hands with other, with some of our colleagues, other security agencies, to assist us in making sure that we have to help these smugglers. We have to press up. It's an added responsibility. We have no option whether we are going to be killed. We cannot say because we are going to kill, we will not do the job. We will do our job. And we believe that you people are also there to assist in making the border stations, the border community, realize the danger involved in bringing in those vehicles to their communities. We will look for the way with that. We will look for more operational vehicles to make sure that we implement this policy. From there and now to the southeast once again, the Anambra State Governor, Mr. Willie Obiano, has signed a 5.5 billion naira memorandum of understanding for the construction of a bonded container terminal in the state. The terminal, which will be located at the Ozubulu Industrial Zone, will occupy 13 hectares of land. Governor Obiano says he will complement the project by establishing a rail line to enhance productivity and avoid damage to roads. It's a meeting between the Anambra State Governor, Willie Obiano, and a delegation from the Bonded Container Limited. The aim is to sign a 5.5 billion naira memorandum of understanding for the establishment of a container bonded terminal at Zubulu in Ikwesigo local government area of the state. This is the prototype of the cargo terminal and when completed, it will accommodate various facilities including a container examination shed, equipment maintenance workshop, lorry and container parks, as well as some government agencies like NAFDAC, NDLEA and the Nigeria Customs Services. This Anambra bonded container free terminal has several benefits for Anambra states and they include, but again not limited to the following, one, employment opportunities which will total about 1,000 broken down between direct and indirect employment of which 75 percent will be dedicated to the Anambra. For the chairman of the Bonded Container Limited, the idea of choosing Anambra is because of the Think Home philosophy of Governor Obiano targeted at making Anambra a first choice investment destination. In the Anambra state constitutes almost 43% of people importing in this nation, Anambra alone. I will tell you they are having problems from bringing the goods to Anambra state. If you are going from Lagos state to Anambra state, you will see nothing less than 15 custom checkpoints, making it very difficult for them to import their goods from that side. Governor Obiano is pleased with the project, promising to establish a rail line to enhance commercial activities in the state. Well, this project will be very successful. We can't carry all this uh, cargo by road. It will be very expensive. It will spoil the roads, uh, even if they are coming from Port Harcourt or from anywhere. So this rail line idea is uh, very critical. The project, when completed, will no doubt promote business activities, create jobs and also boost revenue in the state.
And from there, the Zonal Commanding Officer of the Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSCRS-5 Command, Assistant Corps Marshal Kendi Adeleye, has declared that the command will have to resort to the use of technology to uh, get commercial vehicles operating without speed limiting devices, which will be impounded when enforcement starts on the 1st of January 2017. And that's it on News Across Nigeria today. Thank you for watching. I'm Olumide McCauley.